Our main goal in subscribing to the Knowledge Shop site is to try and see if it can help us run our practice. We have a particular way of going about things. So I know we get a demonstration of the website, so I thought it might pay to explain what we're really trying to do so when we get our demonstration it might then be able to be done in a way that sort of focuses on the areas that we're interested in. Not sure, so I'll quickly go through it. We are a paperless office, and there's several reasons for this, but one of the key ones is we try and develop systems for people to work remotely from home, these sort of things. And I've even had to design my own software to do this. And part of the reason is when people work from home, they're often working strange hours, they're often not working quite full time. I'm talking here in a lot of cases of mums very good accountants with good tax qualifications who uh, have children and they go through this period that can last many years where they can't really work effectively in an office time constraints, the usual. So I've developed solutions to this. The idea is to maintain high levels of quality to provide people that work from home or remotely with the tools they need to do tax effectively because they're often working evenings, weekends when there's no one in the office. That's why you're paperless because they can then use our service as a search engine and that's why we use a lot of templates and instructional material which your site has so it's just showing you how we go about things and then getting a comment from you per the tutorial whether in fact the site can help us with this so you go to complete jobs and I'll just quickly take you through this I don't want this video to go too long so I've selected guest and then this is a typical template to do an accounting job in this case it's for tax and financials. Now, there's a lot of steps in here. Most of them basically are taking the person working remotely through the things we need to be done. For example, it's addressing things like familiarizing yourself with the client, checking the database. We have a thing called a client note tracker which allows them to raise queries and then they attach this to the there's a link for attachment so when we review the job we can see it open it up and respond to queries we have standard work papers as you go through these steps you tick them all off remember the person's often working in the evening so it's important that we have these schedules so there's a whole pile of instructional materials there's a bank working account review area there's a profit and loss review so uh, where I have audio notes and then you go through and check off sales accuracy, issues to do with dividends, any of the things that pop up that cause problems. Now I just want to quickly take you to the GST area because I picked one area in your site and I thought this is probably explaining how we go about it. You look at GST review, so imagine someone's working from home, we then say they need to go through the GST area. So here's the main GST area and here are the sub steps. So what we then do is say we need certain things addressed, so if you click in here for example there's a PDF that has the problem areas, the client name, and these are the key things that can go wrong with GST. Motor vehicle registration is another one. There's a quick little link here that will explain how to quickly calculate the GST on cars. What we're trying to do here is small little links to help people get things right because they're working from home, they often don't have the time. I did look at one area on the site, the margin scheme. I just wanted to show you how we handle the margin scheme. So you're going through the GST checklist and there's plenty of things you've got to do. GST more complex areas, the margin scheme. Clients selling real property may be able to access the margin scheme. You then open up our PDF and this is roughly how we do it. Now what this does, and I program a bit in Acrobat, not hard to do once you know how to do these things. As you go through here, if you hover your mouse over, you get pop-up help. That's what it's called. And on the, the right, of course, you then you get some information about the key decisions that you have to make. So you go through this process, you know, consideration method, valuation method. If you then make these decisions, you can double click here, for example, to access the ATO report on the margin screen, which is a pretty good report. You then use our calculator to calculate the margins. And again, the way we're trying to do these things is to provide people with instructional notes because we don't want to get too detailed because then you have to keep changing them but you can certainly take them to a certain point and give them information so enter the date the property was purchased so if you put it in here say the 1st of the 7th 1999 and then the, the property was sold say on the 15th of the 12th 2013 and then what this will do here is it will raise certain questions or information is in the notes area, it defaults again, nothing major in spreadsheets. You then have choices, so you have pop-up help, you want to put in the purchase costs, it gives you some information, so you put in say 260000 We use a lot of parity checks, so if you try and put 50000 
or are filled in the next. You can't have valuation and purchase at the same time, so it gives you a parity check. Again, we do this because working from home, we're trying to provide the tools to get things right, and at the same time, we're trying to get this information um, together quickly so people can just make decisions. The selling price of the property, 350000 and then you get a quick calculation of the margin, gives you the GST payable, gives you an effective rate. And we do a lot of this sort of thing where you get a, a bit of a chart. This is just to visualise, it just helps people understand things quickly. Now this is not how it has to be done in every case. So really it's a question, can we integrate or to what extent does your site help us do this? As I said, our, our main market is we have developed uh, and have solutions to allow people to work from home and that's what this software and I've had to write this application myself to do this uh, people log in and they can go through all these checklists they leave all sorts of documents on our server everything's electronic there is no paper at all but we are working a lot on this so we're an office where more than half the staff now do not work in the office that's the the strength we have we can em employ people in a way that a lot of firms just can't it's partly the system so when we do the review, is it the case that what we're doing here you can help us with in terms of what the knowledge shop and you people provide in terms of your services? That's the key thing that I'm interested in.